I don't really like to do that. I don't like to lay down and die if I don't have to. So we'll fight to the bitter end, but I think the bitter end's just about here. If this guy even touches us once, we are complete toast. All right, welcome everybody to a new series here on the Valheim. Uh, this is not my first time, of course, playing this game. I have, I did one uh, pretty, pretty substantial single-player series back when the game was new and uh, finished the game uh, at that point in time. And then I played it a couple more times, you know, just multiplayer um, on the channel. Uh, but this, uh, I, I'm planning for this to be another, you know, pretty big, uh, long series with uh, Ashlands coming out. I am playing on a server um, with with other friends in our, our gaming community, but um, I, th I think this will probably be mostly single player, but we'll also, you know, play with uh, uh, other people at, at different times too. So it'll kind of be mostly single player with a little mix of multiplayer uh, thrown in. Uh, so yeah, it's been, uh, I don't know, probably about two years maybe since I played the game last year and a half two years so it'll take me a while to kind of remember how to do everything but we'll get back into it and uh, have a lot of fun with it all right so let's see what Hugan has to say to us all right so the guys have already killed um, the first two bosses but I will not be taking their powers um, myself until I defeat them myself um, so he's basically just telling us uh, that those powers are available um, what else do you want to say to us we're in the 10th world. You're going to guide us. Megalists are sacrificial stones. we got to slay the forsaken, etc. Uh, okay, so. Now what do you want? The magical stones are scattered. Yeah, yeah, we already know about the magical stones. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take off, and I guess I'm going to head north until we find the water, because I'd like to set up our first base on the water. And let's see... We can craft a club, but we're going to need to pick up some more wood first before we can do that. What else do you want, dude? Take stock of your inventory. Craft a stone axe. Gotcha. Okay. We'll grab a couple mushrooms there while we're at it. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to pick up some wood and some stones to craft the stone axe. This guy just is relentless, isn't he? Yeah, okay. Eat the food for your stamina. Gotcha. Let's see. We got to find smaller rocks because I don't think there's any way. There's no way for us to harvest rocks at this point until we get, I guess, the pick. Uh, I don't think a dandelion is going to do us any good. I am playing with some some mods too. Um, I will put the the mod list in uh, the description of the video for anybody who's interested. But they're all just quality of life mods that uh, everybody. Well, I don't know if everybody is playing, but most of us I think are are using them on the server. Here's some uh, oh, more mushrooms. Okay. So we got to find some stone. That's too big for us to pick up. We need, I guess we need smaller, smaller stones. But yeah, I'm happy to get back into, into this game. I love this game. It, uh, it's just really chillaxing. It can be really intense though, too. It's not actually, not really an easy game. Um... It's designed to be, you know, fairly challenging. But it's also, you know, it's one of those games where you can just kind of, you know, spend an hour or three going out and just cutting wood and listening to the music and 
just kind of enjoying the, you know, the vibe of the whole thing. So it's just a, just a great game. And uh, the, here we go, some raspberries. Uh, the Ashlands, from what I understand, is going to be the final area, you know, that they're, that the devs are opening up. Oh, we don't want to mess with him. We don't have any weapon yet. And let's um let's also go ahead and eat those to get some stamina and whatever else they they give to us. Oh, all right, where the hell are all the rocks at? Here's one. Okay, so yeah, we got a bad guy after us already. How many stones do we need to make this? We need four. Shit. Okay, well we have three. <laughs> uh, actually, here's a couple more over here. Uh, pick up. We can punch him, I guess. Okay, well, that works. There we go. Okay, now we need two more stone to craft the hammer. And we can also craft the torch. Oh, I guess we already have a torch. Oh, one of the mods we have is, like, unending... Torch. I guess it never runs out. It does appear to have a the durability thing going down on it, so yeah, I don't know how that works. Let's see what other mods we have. We got the mod that um, pulls from your chest, mod that lets you use your tools when you're in the water. Um, <coughs> the one that you know uh, that I just talked about, where the torches don't go out. That might not apply to this torch. Maybe that's like torches that you put in your house so I'm not really sure I just you know the the server owner just listed all the mods and I kind of just download all of them <laughs> uh, and a few more you know when they that come to mind I'll I'll mention them that should be enough for us to make our hammer I don't usually bother with the club uh, in the early game um, the stone axe is fine for a weapon uh, you know for starting out here all right, what do you want? Craft and hammer, yep. Okay, he's just basically telling us we can use it to build shit. Okay, let's head north, just because why not, right? I mean, I, don't, I have no idea where anything is. So we're just going to keep walking north until we run into, hopefully run into some water. And, of course, we're out of stamina, too. Yeah, it sure looks like the durability bar is going down on the, on the torch. Maybe it goes all the way down, but then it just keeps running anyways. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We shall find out. I am going to pick up the rest of these stones, though, as we move out and just kind of keep moving north. Not going to really bother chasing after the deer. Looks like the deer's chasing after me, though. We'll have to wait till we get a bow to deal with them dudes. But we will pick some more raspberries. We can torch you, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Catch your ass on fire, dude. Get a little resin from him. to put you in slot number one you can just go down there for now and we'll put uh, we'll put the build hammer in five I guess okay let's put the oh how do I put the torch away like this Secondary attack block, dodge, space. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to put the torch away. Oh, by the way, we do have the, uh, we do, we have a mod too that gives us um extra slots for for equipment and a, and a, a mod that lets us trash stuff. If I want to trash something, what I do is drag it over here. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, well I guess that's one way to get rid of the torch. Okay. So yeah, nothing, nothing too, you know, uh, too major. Just quality of life types of mods. There's a little.
structure down that way. We'll have a nice little collection of stones by the time this is all said and done. I think I see the water up ahead. Uh, let's see. Another mod we have is one that helps with planting. Uh, you can, like, snap stuff. And we have a mod that lets you plant more things than just a vanilla game will let you plant, like thistle, I think, and stuff like that. Get away from me, deer. Yeah, it's just its really hard to hit those dudes with a melee weapon, at least at this point. Oh, yeah, we can grab some flint, too. And we are indeed at the water. Oh, that island over there looks like it might be Black Forest. I would like to live near the Black Forest, not in it, but near it. Our skill has improved with axes. Nice. A neck tail. That's something we can cook. Give us a little meat. Let's kill this one, too. Did he not give us a neck tail? The bastard. We went all to the tr went to all that trouble to kill him and he doesn't even give us his tail. Rude. I tell you what, man, some neck tails are rude. Okay. Yeah, so I think <coughs> excuse me. I think that's Black Forest right over there. I'm almost positive it is. Let's go let's get a little closer. We don't want to get too close to it. A little old settlement here. Some more raspberries. This actually isn't a bad spot right here. I'll keep it in mind. All right, let's start killing the these boar because we're gonna need the uh, the hide from them for, uh, to make our, our bow. Yeah, the leather scraps. And the boar meat's good, too. All right. Black Forest. And there's some tin right there, but we can't do anything about it. What the hell do you want now? You're telling me, hey, you shouldn't be in here right now. This place is dangerous. Special commodities. Oh, he's talking about the trader. Okay, I know the guys have found the, the trader already, but... I'm not gonna, um... You know, I'm not gonna worry about that right now, because... Oh yeah, there's some bad bad guys over there. We're not gonna mess with them right now. We are in no shape to be doing that right at the moment. <laughs> Excuse me, dude. What the hell? Go away. You've been invaded. Monsters will lay siege to your camp from time to time. I don't even have a camp yet. How in the hell am I invaded? <laughs> How does that work? Oh, there's a boar right here. I'd really like to know how monsters have invaded my camp when I don't even have one. I wonder if that message pops up when anybody on the server's camp is invaded. I don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, this this isn't a terrible place. It's relatively flat. Um... Is that an actual working bed? No, but there's a working chest. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in this chest. A torch. Okay, the roof is relatively intact. Anything in here? Uh-uh. 
All right. I mean, I think this is as good of a place as any to get started. It's not probably not going to be our permanent base location, but we could certainly start here. And probably this this house is probably the, the best bet because it seems to be the one that's in the most intact. Maybe what we'll do is Okay. So we have we have this garden area here, <clears throat> excuse me, that we can put to use. I'm just trying to give this a little bit of thought in terms of uh, where we might, you know, build like the main house. The only thing I don't like about this one is it's not really facing the water. But this is probably really the best spot to build a base. So I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to tear this one down and build, build something, you know, from scratch here, which means we need a, a, we're going to live in a, in here temporarily and I'll just have to fix the roof. Okay. So I think that that's been decided. Let's get the hammer and we want to make the crafting station. Oh, we need wood. Okay. This isn't really the way to do this. I think what we want to do is get our crafting bench down and then we can just take that, take that apart. But of course we need the wood to do the crafting bench. So let's cut some trees with this damn stone ax. It's going to take a million years. Especially since we only have one wood cutting skill. Gotta start somewhere, man. Yeah, gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Sucks to be you, man. Yeah, you do have to be careful about trees falling on your head in this game. That's right. They can hurt you. All right. Let's cut this from this side. I guess I could just cut saplings too, but... Since we started, we'll finish this one off. Now, let's get this out so we can all see what the hell we're doing. Something just popped up on my screen. I don't know what it was. I think it maybe said that I got learned beef seeds, perhaps. Let's take another one of these, and we'll refresh that, too. Oh, did I, like, knock another tree down? I must have. All right. Wood cutting level seven. Look at us go. Like most, most of these types of games, though, <clears throat> each next level increases exponentially. One thing I do like about this game, though, is you, you know, you level up by using the actual skill that you want to level up in. And I, I love that. I wish uh, more of today's survival games would do that because every other, every person I've ever talked to likes, likes it that way, too, you know. All right, now what do you have to say? Yeah, weather, right, gotcha. Okay, go away. Get out of here. Improved skill in running, eight. Switch to our hammer. Uh, yeah, I can't see a damn thing. I guess you can't have your torch out while you're using your hammer. There ought to be a law. Can I put it right there? Whoops. Bugger off, dude. Get out of here. Oh, nice. It, I guess it considers it covered. That's fantastic. Look at all the stuff it just unlocked for us. Um. Okay, so I think the first thing we actually want to build, though, is a bed. 
And if we, uh, let's get the hammer out. And we want this. There. Wait, can we sleep in those beds? Huh. -uh. No, I think we have to pick. We have to get rid of them and build our own bed. We'll leave that chest there for now. Sorry about the darkness, guys. Um. Okay, furniture bed. I'm sure this thing has to be covered. So let's just put it all the way back here, and maybe we'll turn it this way too. See a gold darn thing. Yes, I know what a bed does. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Spawn point is set. A headrest for the weary. Right. Okay. Oh. Uh I don't I don't want to mess with that guy. That is a shaman. He will put the hurt on us at this point. Hey, are you screwing up my house already? You fucker. I don't have any ranged attack or anything. Yeah, get away from my house, dude. Quit spewing your poison. Thought I could get away from him. I thought wrong. That might kill us. I gotta pull him away from our base, though. Go away. You coming? What I'm going to do is kind of pull him a little further away, and then I'm going to try and circle back around him. Of course, I'm going to have to go through the woods to do that, and I'll probably attract somebody else. But uh, what can you do? What's a Viking to do, man? Hey, get your ass over here. Get away from my base. What the hell are you doing? Ah. Okay. Now, let's head this way. And see if we can ditch this asshole. I have no stamina to fight you, boy. Get out of here. Whoa. Oh, I'm stuck. Not good. Go. I'm stuck again. No stamina. I'm gonna die. Hey! Everybody leave me alone. No fucking stamina. <laughs> this is bad. Jeez, these guys are relentless, man. Damn it, I'm stuck again. Stop it, boar. Okay. Is it just you that's chasing me now? 
Fuck off. You want to chase me? I'll make you pay for it. These guys are... A little bit higher level than me. At least we got rid of the shaman. He's like, he's mega dangerous. Being cold and wet really screwed with our stamina as well. Just keep moving. Oh, that is not good. <laughs> Maybe I should just let these bastards kill me in away from the base so I respawn back at the base. Um I mean, I don't really like to do that. I don't like to lay down and die if I don't have to. So we'll fight to the bitter end, but I think the bitter end's just about here. If this guy even touches us once, we are complete toast and we're too damn close to our base so we got to get away from our base otherwise they'll just camp us ah leave me alone I mean it's not like I have anything valuable in my inventory right now What was that that I was saying when we first started about this being a relaxing game? Oh, yeah, let's just go right on into uh, the Black Forest. That's a good idea. Sure. See, there's a whole big group of the those guys out that way. I mean, I could try and go into the water, I guess, but they're just going to... I'm just going to run out of stamina and drown. Yeah, this is not good, because I'm just leading them back towards the base again. <sighs> this sucks. <laughs> hey, it's day 130. All right, well, at least it's daytime. Everybody leave me alone. You're all a bunch of assholes. You too, you little fucker. Get out of here. And you too. Go away. Here, I'll take a raspberry. I can't believe we survived that onslaught. Stamina. Don't even have enough stamina to swing at him. Here. Yeah, come here. Okay. Now, let's get back to our house, get inside and warm up a bit, and see if we can get something done. That was a rather terrifying night, I have to say. Not fun, man. Which one of these is our house? Oh, this one is. <clears throat> Screen shake, anyone? Jeez. Okay, we have another mod, too, that just auto-repairs your shit as soon as you get into the workbench, just like it does in, in Shrouded. Whew, okay. 
Um, well, let's see. What do we need to do? I think we should probably get our roof in place and get a door. Uh, yeah, actually, a door would probably be the first and most important thing. Um, so, yeah, let's put a door in. That'll keep the bad bads out. Let's put a roof on. And we'll put one here. Uh, where did it go? Oh, okay. Okay, this, uh, that roof's in pretty bad shape, so let's put a new one up. This one is also middle mouse button. That's the one we use. I've been doing um, quite a bit of building in Enshrouded, so I'm, i got to get into Valheim mode. Alright. The rest of the roof looks reasonably well here. Uh, we want the peak now. The 45, yeah, the 45 peak. There. Okay. Now, let's do the, is it this thing thingamadoodle that we put up here? And we'll put one up here. Let's grab one of these. And we'll turn it this way. Get rid of the broken one. Miss, uh, wait, what? Missing, oh, we don't have enough wood for it. Oh, okay. A piece of wood right there all right now uh, I want to make a bow but we're gonna need to come up with five more leather scraps to do that uh, we could make a flint knife but I don't think I want to make or use up leather scraps for that at the moment yeah we're just gonna have to go out and hunt a bunch of boar it looks like and we also need it for the the clothes uh, we could make a shield nope <laughs> damn it we need it for that too all right, so we just gotta got go do a whole mess of boar hunting. Um, oh, campfire, yeah, let's make a fire. That way we can cook some of this meat. So let's see, we have enough stuff to do that. Okay, I know we have to, um, wait, hold on. I know we have to put it outside um, or we'll get smoked out. So we'll just stick it right outside the door for now. And it will need to be covered if it starts to rain. Yeah, this is, start, this is all starting to come back to me. Uh, how do we... Oh, right. We have to put the... We have to put the food on our toolbar, I think. Is that right? Use item two. You can't use neck tail on the fire. Oh, right. We got to make one of those um, spit thingamadoodles. Or whatever, the, whatever they're called. Uh, this thing. Cooking station. I need more wood. See, in Enshrouded, you just put the thing on your toolbar and you sit down and then it, he cooks it up. But we're not playing Enshrouded. In case you didn't notice. Yeah, that should be enough. There we go. Now, we should be able to just do this. 
And we gotta pick them up before they burn. Dude, get out of here. Get off my roof. I'm damaging my own house. Hey, don't make me burn my food. Don't make me burn my breakfast. That would be sad. Dude, get the hell off my roof. It's kind of like, get off my lawn, except for in this case it's roof. Hey, who did that? Did he do that? Alright, can I get up on the... Here, okay. There you go. That'll learn you. I hear another one somewhere. Okay, let's eat one of these. Now let's cook up the boar meat. Do I have to... Oh no, I guess I don't have to put it on my toolbar. Okay. Nice. I don't really want to leave this here, because if I do, I'll completely forget about it and burn it. That's just how I do. Yeah, see, I screwed up my roof. I can repair that, though. Okay. We don't need to carry... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so we got one more boar meat and a neck tail. Alright, let's go back to you and to the hammer. The thatch roof does not need repairs. That one does. And that does, and that does. The original pieces need some repairing too. Okay. Let's get our stuff. There we go. Um. Oh, right, okay. Building. We want uh, this piece here. And we'll put that back in. Now, repair that. All this original... Stuff needs some repair here. Actually, now that I think about it, I could have just done that instead of removing those broken pieces, but I forgot, man. I'll remember. I will remember. Okay, those pieces I should have hit from the inside. Ow! Fire is hot! Whew! Okay. Good. So, uh, what is our next priority? I guess... Oh, yeah, we gotta repair these too. We need to go after boar... boars for the height. That's what our next priority is, because we need it for a bunch of stuff. Let's get all this fixed, though, first. Uh, I can't seem to hit the board underneath there. Okay, well, whatever. Alright, I don't think I give a rat's ass about birch seeds, at least not right now. Oh, right, we got the little trash thing. Um, boar's heads... I mean, we're going to be picking up a shit ton of those. You know, just by farming them or hunting them. Uh, I guess I... I think I, we, we can we can put the stone in here. We don't, I don't think we need to take, take that with us. Everything else I kind of want to hang on to at the moment. Okay, let's go hunting boar. And can we also eat one of these? Huzzah, we can. Okay, look at that. 
That increases our health cap. Okay. Uh, let's pick some more shrooms too while we're out here. That was weird. How come he's not picking them up automa automatically? Uh-oh. What happened? He's not picking stuff up now. Did I... Did I disable something? Before he was just automatically picking stuff up. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what I did. get all wet and cold again that's weird it's not it, maybe I, I must have pressed a key or something to disable that stay in here where it's cozy let's go to uh, settings keyboard and mouse oh let's see Toggle auto pickup. V. Oh, okay. So now it says auto pickup on. I didn't even know that was a thing. Maybe that's new since I played the game last. I'm not sure. All right. Well, I wonder if we should just head out anyway. We can't stay in here all day. It's one hell of a storm. Yeah, let's just go. Oh shit, I didn't even see you little fuckers there. You scared the hell out of me. Now well, we got a couple necktails for the, for my cardiac arrest there. There's a boar. Okay, we need four more of those to make the bow. Grab some more raspberries while we're at it. You could eat another bite. All right, let's eat another bite. Health and stamina. Ooh, we're getting we're getting close to Black Forest. We don't really want to go over there. Okay, let's go this direction. Hey, run skill improved. Nice. Can we get you caught in a tree? Or not? I guess. Okay. Let's go this direction. Oh, is this, um... Oh, yeah, this is Ekther's location. Okay. Do we have a map marker thingy? We do. So, let's, uh... Oh, Joe's on. How do we... How do we do this? Add pin... Um, I, I can't, I don't know how to spell F gear, so I'm going to just call this deer boss. That's really close to the house. Okay. Cool. This 
This is the game that it's really hard to fight when you're not on flat terrain. I believe. So yeah, that's a thing. Alright, let's go this way. Is this supposed to be something? I don't know. Maybe it's one of those places where you can dig down in the ground and find a treasure chest. There's boar. Okay, that's five. Pick up some flint or down by the creek here. Damn near impossible to kill a deer with a stone axe at the start of the game. Alright, where the hell are all the boar at? I can't tell if it's uh, starting to get dark. Because the weather's so nasty. We're getting kind of far away from the base. All right, let's start moving back towards our base. I have a feeling like it might be starting to get dark. Yeah, it's nighttime shit. Wow, look at the waves out there. I just don't want to attract the attention of some bad bads and lead them back to our base. Case in point. Leave me alone. God damn it, there's another fucking shaman right there. Uh, and a brute. This game sucks. <laughs> And there's a boar, too. We can't mess with him now. Let's try and get away from these guys. We're going to spend another night out in the cold, dark, scary woods running for our life for monsters. Not my idea of a good time. Get away from him? Yep, I think they're going to leave us alone. Okay, let's see if we can get back to our base. Well, that's a skeleton. No, we don't want to mess with him. He's even worse. I don't think he saw us. So I think he's after the deer. Son of a beech nut. I don't feel rest anymore, you don't say. All right, we got six. Oh shit, the skeleton's after us, run! That's not good. Ah! I didn't even see him there. Don't hurt me, skeleton. I need that. I need that hide. Pretty sure he'll one-shot us. How did we get... 
Wait a minute. How do we get to the Black Forest already? Oh, right. We're just on the very edge of it. Okay, let's run this way. Oh, boy. Uh, don't get stuck. It's a bad, bad time to get stuck. These guys are going to kill me. Oh, here comes a skelly, too. <laughs> this is not good. Yeah, let's just run through the black forest, because that's the safest thing to do. We just picked something up. I don't know what it was. Oh, I remember the good old days when I used to have stamina. No! Leave me alone, you bastard. Okay. We're close to the base. Are there any bad bads around? Can we just, like, get inside, close our door, and have everything leave us alone? Whew. Okay. Bed needs a fire nearby. Of course it does. Uh, speaking of which... Let's pull this thing out. Alright, so we're no longer wet. I don't think we can sleep anyways because the fire's doused at the moment. But yeah, maybe we should move our bed up towards the door and then build like a little shelter for the fire. Is the rain done? I think it is. Okay. Thing is, though, is um, sleep is not going to do me any good if Joe doesn't sleep as well. But here, what the? F no, don't do that. Don't do that. Pick it up and rebuild it over here. Uh, furniture. Turn it this way. There. Okay. I can sleep, but like I said, it's not going to do any good. All right. Well, this is probably a good place to end the episode anyway. And I am curious if this torch runs out, if it runs out or not, uh, because of that mod that we installed. But anyway. All right, guys. Well, that's it for our first episode. That was... Uh, Kind of exciting and, and, and a little bit nerve-wracking. And, yeah, there goes our torch. But, hey, we survived. We actually didn't die. I thought we <laughs> I thought we were going to die uh, a couple of times there. But we didn't, so yay us, right? Uh, so, yep, I uh, will see you guys then in the next episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.